Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create and add collections on Shopify as well as how to add those collections to your homepage and to your sites and your stores navigation. So how to create and add those collections and really how to better organize your products on your Shopify store. Now before we dive into things, if you don't already have a Shopify store, I do want to mention you can check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're going to get started with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So of course, you're going to want to make sure you are logged into your Shopify store in the admin section. Next, you're going to come over here to products. Now, of course, you will actually need some products on your Shopify store in order to actually add collections and adding those products to those collections. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can add products to collections. I'm going to be showing you a few different ways you can go ahead and do that. Once you have the product section loaded, then you're going to come down here to collections and select collections. Now this will allow you to organize your products so that you can categorize them, which it makes it better for your customers so they can more easily navigate through your online store and also helps improve your overall site's SEO as well. So next to create the collection, you're just gonna come up here to the top right corner and click on that green button called create collection. That will take you to this page here. Now there's a variety of different ways that you could uh, categorize or create your collections within Shopify. As you can see here, a couple of examples examples they have is a summer collection under a hundred dollars or even staff picks now generally based on uh, some of the products that we already have uh, on this site there is a there's a few different watches so we're gonna go ahead and create a watch collection uh, as an example here uh, on this uh, tutorial test store so we're gonna title it watch and then you can also add a description now I would definitely recommend adding a, uh, a a nice rich description here to describe the collection this will help your SEO value as well on your store so definitely create a nice description you know in this example I'm just gonna create something quick and easy so we're gonna go with um, you know leather uh, imported watches um, something like that, uh, you know, a hundred, a hundred, uh, percent or something like that, like a hundred, hundred percent, uh, leather genuine watches or something like that. Right. So you create some sort of fancy, nice description there. You can also add in videos or images or other things if you want to add to your collections description. Uh, but I would definitely recommend adding something good there. Next, you can also choose to add a collection image. So you can add a collection image if you want from your computer. You can upload that there uh, if you want to add a specific collection image. Uh, you can also add it to a specific theme template if you've created any kind of templates. I have not. We're just going with the default collection um, as well. Uh, next, you have the collection type. So this is where you can edit the overall way that products are added to your collection. So you have manual and you also have automated. So automated will automatically import and add products based on the conditions that you set here. So if you have a product tag or maybe if you have something in the product title, uh, you know, this is good if you're doing like everything under $100, you could easily set it to anything that's under that price point. Um, to automatically get added to that collection. So maybe if you have like a sale category, then this is nice just for automatically adding those products. Now in this example, we're gonna go with watch so that the uh, product title, uh, if it contains watch, we're gonna go ahead and do that automated. We're gonna go ahead and click save. Now these Rolexes, see they, the Rolexes that we have in here in the product section, they don't currently have watch in the title. So you see it's Rolex Oyster Perpetuals. So we're gonna go ahead and just put Rolex as the collection uh, title here under watch of so the product contains uh, Rolex. It will automatically add it to the watch collection and boom. So as you can see here, we have the products and they're automatically added. Uh, you can sort them by best selling A to Z, highest price, lowest price, newest, oldest manually. Uh, if you want to change the way that they're sorted on the collection page. 
Now you can actually view this collection as well. We're going to go ahead and view it here. And as you can see, this is the watch collection that we just created. As you can see, leather imported watches, genuine. Uh, so you have it as watch. Of course, I would recommend creating more descriptive uh, collection titles and collection descriptions, of course, for your actual online store. Uh, but just for the example, as you can see here, we have those two watches automatically add to this collection. Now, alternatively, uh, you can also add them, add products manually, which I'll show you in a second as well with another uh, category. But this is just uh, how you want to sort the products as well. So you can manually sort them. Uh, maybe if you want this one to show up first or, you know, something like that. You can also manually sort your products uh, within your collections. Uh, we're just going to stick with best selling for now. But you also have all these other ways that you can sort your products uh, as, as long as they meet that uh, condition. We're going to add the this, this collection to the store's navigation in just a minute as well. So we're going to go back. We're going to create another collection. This one's going to be a manual collection, and we're going to call it jewelry. So we're going to do jewelry, and we're going to manually add products one by one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click save here. And then now we can go ahead and click browse on our products. We can add any products we want to this. So we're going to go ahead and add the little uh, like pin. I, I guess that's kind of like a lapel pin, sort of jewelry, sort of not. We're going to add the earrings. And you know what? While we're at it, we're also going to add the, well, we're not going to add the watches. We already have that in another collection. So you can add products to multiple collections if you want as well. Just bear that in mind. You can also do that as well uh, if you want to add a single product to multiple different collections or even multiple different products to multiple collections. You can do that too. So as you can see here, you've created the jewelry section uh, and you have these products manually added. You can also sort them here manually if you want to as well, or just by best selling. And that one is also created. Now, as you can see here, you can view it on your online store collections, jewelry. So as you can see here, we have the jewelry collection now created. Uh, and you could also just keep creating collections. So you can create really as many collections as you want here uh, based on either product conditions, like I mentioned before, or if you just want them to be uh, manually added, you can do that as well. Now to add these to your site's navigation so people can actually access them um, on your store, we're going to add that under a drop down menu here underneath the catalog. Because if you click on catalog, that's just going to take you to all products uh, within your online store. That's what's default added to your online store. So we're going to go ahead and add these collections into the site's menu so you can actually access them uh, from the site's navigation. This is great as well just for your uh, overall site and for people navigating. So to do that, all you have to do is go over here to online store. Then we're going to select navigation. So online store, then navigation. We're going to add it to the main menu. You can also feel free to add them to your footer menu if you want. We're going to add those to the main menu. All you have to do then click here on add menu item, click here on link, select collections, and we're going to select jewelry. So we're going to add jewelry first. And then we're also going to add the watch collection. So watch, we're going to add that as well. And then we're going to select them, just click and drag, and we're going to put them underneath catalog. And then we're also going to put watch underneath catalog. Oh, that's actually underneath jewelry. So you can even do a multiple nested uh, if you wanted. Maybe if you wanted like cat overall catalog, then you wanted jewelry. And then even within jewelry, you wanted watches or other types of jewelry. So you could even nest them like three deep if you wanted to. Um, we're just doing two right now. So if we refresh this page here, uh, sometimes it takes a second for Shopify to actually load the uh, menu changes, but you can also nest them multiple times if you want uh, as well within your menu. You can click here and, and see what it would look like uh, on your site uh, as well. We're going to go ahead and refresh that again. And so boom, now you have the little drop down menu so people can come here, click, and then they can click on the different collections, whether it be jewelry and go to that collection. You can also go to watches so you can go to that collection. Now, next, I'm going to be showing you how to get these collections to show up on your site's homepage as well to add those featured collections to your site's homepage. So that's what I'm going to be showing you now. Once you already have them here, of course, you can access them there. So to add the collections to your site's homepage, what you do is you go to home, of course. You go to online store. 
So you go to online store. Now, currently I'm using the Dawn theme on Shopify. So if you're using maybe an older theme that's not using the online store uh, OS 2.0, this may look a little bit different, but if you're using the most current up-to-date Shopify themes, uh, you should be able to follow along real easily. And it, it's essentially the same process, just may look a little bit different depending on what theme you're using. Currently, again, I'm using the Dawn theme. You click on customize, and then that will bring up your site's theme editor. And then next, all you have to do is go ahead and scroll down and add a section. So we're gonna add the section for featured collection. As you can see here, featured collection. And then it will show the featured collections, collection section. We're gonna click on that here, whether you, you click on it here uh, to edit the featured collection and then to select the collection that we're going to add, select collection, you click select collection. And then we're gonna do the watch one. So we currently have the watch one selected. So we're gonna select watch. And as you can see, you can also select like maximum products to show, a uh, number of columns on desktop. So maybe if we want it to look a little bit like that, or we're gonna stick with the four for now. Uh, you can make products full width or not. You can enable view all as well if there's more products to show. Um, you can really, you can do a carousel as well if there's a lot of products. You can change out the color scheme, maybe if you want the, the colors to be different or if you want things to look a little a little different uh, in terms of colors. So as you can see here, you can kind of do like an inverse uh, section. We're just gonna stick with background one for now. You can also change the product cards so you can you know change them to, to, to line up better image ratios. So we're gonna stick with square. That looks a lot nicer in my opinion. Uh, you can even show the second image on hover if there is a second image to show um, uh, as well. When people mouse over, it will automatically slightly zoom in, which is pretty nice as well. You can also add a quick add button if people want to add it to their cart there. Uh, so there's really like a ton of different settings here uh, that you can edit and change within the feature collection. You could even add a, a different heading size if you want it to be you know, a little bit smaller. Um, you can leave it the heading there. You can really like play around with this uh, however you want to make things um, match your overall look and feel of your site. And then to add it, to move it higher, all you have to do is then click here on the little drag icon and you can drag it higher on your homepage to make it uh, prominently featured on your site's homepage. We're gonna stick it right underneath the image banner. And as you can see here, we're gonna go ahead and click save. And then I'm going to refresh the site. And as you can see here, we have our featured collection now featured the watch collection on the homepage. Of course, again, there's only two products in this collection. Uh, you can definitely add a lot more uh, products to your collections if you want to. Uh, but that's generally how you add the collections. You've got them featured on your homepage, nice and easy for people to access uh, your collections on your store. You can also easily add them here to your overall catalog section so people can select jewelry, watches, and again, this does also improve your overall site's SEO. So it's definitely great to add collections to your store, and I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful on how to create and add collections and feature them on your site, on your Shopify store. Guys, I do wanna mention, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. Guys, if you found this video helpful on how to create and add collections to your Shopify store, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.